Hello everyone, Argzy here. Welcome along to series two of the five minute farmer. Coming to you this time from Griffin, Indiana by AJ Farmer. We are just arriving in here. We've inherited a farm on the other side of town. Uh, we're going to go up and have a look at that. Check out what land we have, what equipment we've uh, got with the farm and where exactly we're at with crops and fields and things like that. See what tasks we have. This one's going to be a little bit different to our previous five minute farmer in Osada. Uh, obviously bigger fields so might be a little bit more of a challenge to see how we get through condensing everything down to five minutes. I know there's been some suggestions that maybe we should do it in a little bit longer format, but I quite like the five minute format. I think it works very well for what we're trying to achieve. So let's go and have a look at where we are and what we've got. Welcome to our new home in Griffin. Uh, this is our house here on the left, obviously, and our farmyard here on the right. So lots to go and see and uh, not much, too much time to do it. So we will race around as quickly as we can. Uh, but before we do, and go and have a look at all the equipment, let's just take a quick look at the fields. So here is the farmyard in the middle of field 23, and you can see that we already own fields 21, 23, and 24, along with some grass meadowland up the top here, which is quite easy to access from the farm. It takes the track and road up through the middle. Now in terms of where our fields are at, we do have a couple of crops already planted. Uh, we have wheat in fields 21 and 24. Now this was planted pre-winter, and it's come with the farm. Soybean field here, which has been harvested last year, set uh, fallow for winter, and we will be preparing that to have some corn planted into it. Basically, we're going to try a uh, double cropping scenario. So once the wheat's done, we will try and get the soybeans into that. And uh, once the corn's done, we'll be starting off with wheat again on those. So that is the plan there for the crops. In terms of the land up here we own, we are, do have some hay equipment, which you'll see, and we are going to try and run a little bit of a hay enterprise between planting and harvesting seasons. With that out of the way, let's go and have a look at the equipment and what we've got. You would have seen we had a gooseneck trailer there. We do have a grain cart there on the right, the Kinsey 1050. So I think it's about a 30,000 litre grain cart, which is good. Uh, we've got the International 1586. We do have three tractors. And uh, we are going to leverage a little bit of course play on this as well. We're not going to be able to do it all ourselves. 179 horsepower tractor there. Uh, we've got a 7810 here. It's got all row crop tyres there, 30 inch spacings on that. That is 170 horsepower as well. So they'll be doing a lot of our planting. And then our big dog appropriate is the challenger mt755 this is a 300 horsepower tractor we've got our three meter wide tracks on that got a harvester combine down the back here it's the uh 9560 9650 sts and uh we've got a couple of 30 foot headers for that or one 30 foot honeybee header there you can see behind we've actually got a 12 row corn header as well planting wise we do have a 12 row early riser planter uh, we've got this wonderful tandem planter here actually this is a nine meter wide tandem planter looks like it should work really well and then for fertilizer and spraying we've got the uh, john deere sprayer there and the six ton tow behind fertilizer spreader by uh, 82 studios on the other side very quickly we do have the vermi around baler we've got a kubota skid steer so a couple of the dlc items there that we're using and add to that Fusion Simulations wonderful corn dryer pack. Uh, so we're going to try and dry our corn there. We've got the propane tanks, we've got the corn dryer and everything all set up uh, for our storage. So that is what we're going to use for the corn. Uh, but we've got some other options for our other storage. Carrying around, around here very quickly because we're going to run out of our five minutes. We've got the Mac uh, grain hauling pack by BC Bueller Farms there. The semi rather than the uh, pup trailer and rigid. Uh, we've got a six meter wide plow, 670 there and a... 14 metre wide uh, disc harrow there as well. So a couple of bits of tillage equipment. Uh, we do have the Westfield auger, which I haven't put away properly yet. That needs to be tidied up. And uh, the bin that AJ Farmer had added in. So we've got that for our soybeans. Uh, we might put another one of those in so we can store wheat and actually play like we're storing things a little bit separately. And then the last of the equipment, I've got the Vermeer baler, the Vermeer windra. Uh, obviously no tether in the Vermeer pack. So we have gone and got the Vicon tether there. And uh, there is our 12 row corn head. It's the uh, 612C. So very nice. So one thing I have tried to do just very quickly is use mods that are available on ModHub and largely available to console players. Uh, in fact, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pre pretty sure everything here is available to console players. And as this is going to be a console, mate, I thought it'd be quite cool to do that. So I hope you are looking forward to the series as much as I am. I think this is going to be a perfect map for this format and uh, having... Had a look around the map a little bit and obviously had the opportunity to uh, have a look at it early. I think it is just going to be well suited to the 5 Minute Farmer. So, look forward to bringing you the next episode tomorrow. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.